Hello, my name is Ra and I'm here at the uh, London Transport Museum uh, Acton Town Depot. I'm a volunteer for the uh, London Transport Museum Friends. I'm here to talk about uh, the London Underground diagram which was designed by Harry Beck in 1931. He was an out-of-work engineering draftsman for the London Underground Group. Whilst in between jobs, Beck came up with the idea um, after looking at uh, previous maps uh, which he thought were quite confusing. Um, they, they were often uh, illustrated with curvaceous and spiring lines uh, overlapping with street layout. And this was often um, bewildering to the commuter. He took his inspiration from designing electrical circuits and simplified the map by straightening the lines, using diagonals and distancing the stations apart. Using a central London railway, now known as a central line, as a horizontal base, he enlarged the central area to give more clarity as many lines interchange with each other in that region. The diagram was issued in January 1933 as a folding pocket map with the words emblazoned in front fold, a new design for an old map. The general public welcomed Beck's diagram. In fact, Frank Pick, the then vice chairman and chief executive of the then newly formed London Passenger Transport Board quoted, it looks very convenient and tidy and is a better map than any we have had so far. Following the success of the folding pocket map, a quad poster was issued later in 1933 and was installed in various underground stations, concourses and platforms. Beck returned to work for London Underground as their chief cartographer and designed variations of the underground map until 1960. Next time, if you're at a station or on a platform, or if you have a folding pocket map, have a look at the bottom corner of the map and you'll notice the following words. This diagram is an evolution of the original design conceived in 1931 by Harry Beck.